All right, guys, so I just picked up this PC and I paid 1100 euros for this guy, but it has a Ryzen 9 3900X. So we'll actually pull up the specs for you right here, which is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. And it's like really powerful, but it's cooled just by a single 120 millimeter solid in one cooler from Cooler Master, which is really bad. Plus the RAM is 2400 megahertz, which sucks. And the motherboard as well, it's really bad. It's just a B550 plus from Tough. Also, as you can see, like it supports PC Express 4.0, but just by a little bit. So what we're gonna do is basically very likely swap the GPU out with this case right there. It's probably what I think is my best choice, but stay tuned. Okay, so I decided what to do with those two bills. We have basically two bills, one for 900 euros, one for 1,100 euros. And what we wanna do is basically bring the value up as to have the both of them to be valued at 3K and so make a grand of profit. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is this one has a Ryzen 5 6600, 5600X, which is better for gaming than this one, but it's a worse CPU if it makes sense. So we're gonna put the Ryzen 9 3900 XT from here into there, and then the 3080 from here into there, and bring the rest, like keep the rest as it is, and that should give us a decent profit. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do, follow us with that, let's start from this one. Okay, so actually they left the this thing to peel here, but not on the other side. Now, let's come here. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually disassembling the GPU, which is fairly straightforward, that's this one. Then a couple of screws, which I will do really quickly. And then we should be able to get the whole thing off. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are discovering what kind of NVMe SSD was in there. And it's actually, surprisingly, a 970 Evo Plus, which is a really good one, but it was in the wrong slot. So <laughs> that's interesting. Then let me show you a couple weird things that I have here. First is this one. It's a blip code that basically shows you what's wrong with the motherboard. So we don't need this one. Then they zip tied the eight pin connector to the 24 pin connector, doing a really bad job, which also ruins the cable management. And then they put this fan, which is really bad up top. So we're gonna get rid of all these things and we should be good. Okay, so, so far we took this one out. We took a Wi-Fi card out. We took a little beeper out and we put this 512 gigabyte WD Black S1020 SSD in, and we also swapped the 32 gigs of 2400 megahertz, which is really low, DDR4 RAM with this 3600 megahertz G-Skill RAM. And now we're gonna do a swap of the CPU, swap of the GPUs, and then think about what to do with the cooler. All right, guys, so here we are with this Aintec Torque case, and it has a Ryzen 5 5600X, a 3070 from Manly, 32 gigs of HyperX memory, as you can see now it will turn on. Some very ugly RGB fans on the front. And then a 1000 watt, but just 80 plus gold power supply. And also this motherboard from ROG, the Crosshair 8, which has this little screen where all the stats appear, plus this very good cooler from Asus ROG. And I paid 900 bucks for it. They also gave us all of these, everything. I have the box for everything. So. I still have to think about what to do with it, but the case alone is like 400 euros. So we'll see. Let's get dismounting it. Okay, so let's get dismounted. Now, the first thing you can see is that the previous owner completely ruined those things because those are Torx screws, but he used a flat screwdriver while he could have just hand tightened them like normal people do. So 400 euros case and it was ruined like this. But wait, you still haven't seen the cable management, which, which, which is probably the most notable thing in this build, and I'm not saying it positively. So, okay, everything fell down, but let's take a close look at the cable management. I think it's worth it. Just for you to enjoy. Okay, so here we are actually disassembling the GPU. So this one, unfortunately, has a 12 pin. So we gotta use these very ugly adapters. And then we gotta just unscrew this two. Okay. And then just click it here. Yep, just click it. And it should just come out. It's really dirty as you can see actually. I don't know if you can get it properly on camera, but it's pretty dirty. It's just a dual fun, run of the mill, mid-range GPU. 
Alright guys, now ignore the bad cable management, which really sucks, like, look at this cable, but anyway, this motherboard, which is a Rampage Crosshair 8, like seen from Asus ROG, is actually a water cooling motherboard, as you can see here, there is a hole, where you can put your actual water cooling fittings, and just water cool this whole thing to do very high overclocks, wasn't expecting that, do you like it? Okay guys, now let's actually take out, ooh, he really torqued it down, let's actually take out this CPU cooler and get the Ryzen out and let's see what the paste application looks like by the way seeing the cable management it's not starting well guys I've, I've gotta tell you I don't really I don't think it's gonna go that well but okay we're close okay moment of truth it's coming out oh it's actually good that's how a good paste application should look like. That's good. That's good. Yo, guys, I'm cleaning up this paste. Actually, she's doing it. And I put this thing up here. So, pro tip, don't leave your only one hanging. Just lock it on the case. It's made It's made exactly for that. So just lock it there, okay? Okay, so time for the actual CPU swap. Let's hope it doesn't come out with the cooler, as it usually happens with Ryzen. Okay, it's still there. Let's check the thermal paste. I, I, okay, it's it's very good application. Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 get a close look of this thing. Half the CPU covered. Half the CPU covered. Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay, guys, now let's take this Ryzen 9 out of here without breaking anything. And now let's put it in place. This one. So it should go in just like that. Yep. Here we are applying the paste on this Ryzen. We're going to just do usual x wise some of you will say it's too much paste but you're just strong and then you can just close it up again pretty straightforward just need to lock these pins the locking mechanism and then just screw them in and that's it okay here we are slotting the gpu in so here it goes and then this time we have to connect these eight pins to the 12 pin adapter so it's gonna look a bit ugly. I don't really know what to do with it, cable management-wise. Okay, so here we are slotting the actual Ryzen 9 3900XT into here. So let's grab it. And now I wanna do it with this thing floating, which is not the best, but it should be in, hopefully. Yes, okay. That's nice, so it's just time to slap this guy on top of it, and we good. Okay, so not only am I applying paste with one hand on this like two grand PC, but I am also doing it while the PC is standing up. So it's gonna be especially difficult, but I'm gonna try my best. So we just wanna do a nice cross without, you know, throwing paste all over the motherboard. I think, I think we might have done it decently, maybe, okay. Now we'll place it and install the cooler with two hands. Okay, so here we are slapping the 3080 into here. It's pretty tight, plus it's difficult to fit things in, in vertical, but we did it, so that's good. Okay, so here we are with both the builds finished. This one is actually fully finished. And I really like how it came out, but let me know your opinion. While this one, well, it's finished, but we still have to cable manage it, so we we're in the work and we took out this Samsung 250 gig um, SSD and put a one terabyte Samsung took from this one in there. So yeah, I guess time to cable manage, but we are at a pretty good point, I've got to say. Okay guys, so we have fully finished both the PCs and well, I have actually already sold them for quite a big profit. I ended up selling the Ryzen 5 and 3071 for 1300 euros while I sold the other one for close to 2000 euros. So yes, I think we did do a good job in terms of mixing and matching the components to extract more value. But if you think we could have done anything better, let me know down below. And now let's get more into discussing how the builds came out and what they were more dedicated towards to. So the Ryzen 5 5600 one with the 3070, well, that was definitely a more gaming oriented build because the Ryzen 5 5600 is actually faster than the Ryzen 9 3900 XT if we are talking strictly gaming so 
I think, well, that one went to a guy who just wanna play and he was really happy with it. Whereas the other one, yes, we lose a bit in IPC, but we get a much, much beefier multi-core performance. And I think it was well matched with the cooler since a 120 millimeters only one cooler on a Ryzen 9 definitely isn't ideal, but a 360 millimeters only one cooler from ROG is a bit overkill on a Ryzen 5. So I think switching that was good. And same goes with the motherboard because again, that ROG Maximus board is one of the best for the socket. So I think handling a Ryzen 9 is what the board was made to do. So it was good in that compartment as well. Same goes for the power supply, of course. And honestly, since the Zotac RTX 3080 tends to run a bit hot, I think it was a good choice to put it in an open air case where it can really just push all the heat out. So overall, I was really happy. Both builds were extremely quiet and with really good performance at all the time. And honestly, with both, you, you can do both productivity and gaming pretty well. So I was happy with it. And then regarding the actual Aintech Torque build, we also put a couple Arctic fans on the front since Arctic sent them to us. And I was really happy about the looks of that one as well. So I wanna hear your opinion about that one too. But let me know down below if you think I could have done anything different or if you have any questions for me, just drop them down below. I read all the comments. And if you've watched this this far, maybe drop a like and a sub. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.